thing. Needs knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. Uh, well, today, guys, we are taking up to the kitchen to see if the Spider Co. Spidey Chef can live up to its name. Uh, but first, we have a quick EDC item of the day. So I actually found this at one of our local Myers grocery store. Don't know if you guys have those. Not really sure if they're national. But it is a Coleman brand um, waterproof match holder. So it's actually pretty cool. It was, I think, $4.99. I'm going to link it below. If you can use those links for us, guys, to purchase your um, items on Amazon, it really helps our channel directly. Anyway, so the Coleman waterproof match case, it, it looks like a little cool because they make coolers. I'm sure you can find it any Bass Pro, Gander Mountain, stuff yeah. like that. But it, it comes actually fully stocked with, oh, I'd say maybe 25. It looks like there's a lot in there. Uh, waterproof matches. It has a striking pad on the bottom, and then it comes with a bag of um, replaceable striking strips. So that's a pretty cool deal. You drop these in the water, you're not going to you know, lose your fire making abilities or whatever. So that's maybe a smoking ability. I don't know. So yeah, that's yeah, very cool. Coleman Waterproof cool. Match Holder. Thanks. Oh, and we're also going to be... Um, we haven't used this and we're not going to because we're going to be using it and probably give it away in our 1,000 follower um, Instagram giveaway. We've already reached the 1,000 followers, but we're just trying to put something together. Did you want to tell them what we were thinking for that? Okay, so what we're thinking about is uh, doing 50 bucks. You get, you get whatever you want. You can uh, order. On a knife. You just, yeah, it has to be on a knife. So you just tell us what you want us to order. We'll order it and mail it to your address. $50 knife. We're going to get and a the couple. Cooler. And the cooler. Maybe a couple other Man things. Cooler. We're trying to put a couple other things together before we announce it. We will be announcing it on Instagram. One of the uh, things you will have to do is be sub to us on YouTube. That's the only other thing. And leave a comment. But not on this, not video, on this video, though. Yeah. Yeah. But that thing's official. really cool, though, because you can throw it in a bug out bag, your whatever bag. You always got matches on you. Yada yada. All right. Next thing. Let's uh, uh, thing let's is... do some size comparisons yeah. really All quick right. before we get to the kitchen. Oh, we got right there the Spider Co. Chef. Next, thanks to Lavender Pants eighty six. This is the Kaiser T one. Very awesome titanium frame lock. Next up. The Tucson TS-49. A lot of people like this knife. It's very awesome. And all these knives you will find linked in the description. That is the Benchmade Griptilian Large. Next up, another spider coat, which will be our last size comparison. The Yojimbo 2. I just want to say all these knives were very good size comparisons for the knife. So, you want to tell them about who gave us those? Okay, that's the next thing we're going to do right now. Put me back up here. Put it back Bam. up here. All right, shout out to Bam and Knife Guy for loaning us these knives. He loaned us this knife along with the Techno 2 and the Yojimbo. He's very awesome for doing that. And great guy, great channel. Check him out if you guys haven't yet. Make sure you go check him out and sub to his channel. You can also find him on Instagram. He's a really you know, good... people are going to start thinking that he's paying us to say all this. <laughs> he's, he's a really good <laughs> friend of ours, and that's why we like to shout him out as much as we can. He's uh, a newer growing channel just like us, which we like to help out in newer growing channels just like ourselves. So thanks a lot, Bamel. Yep, both links will be below. All right, and now. Now, let's four form these guys. Four form. You guys get a good nap? Wakey, wakey. All right, guys, we're gonna start doing some chef work with this thing. This thing's uh, steel is LC200N, which is supposed to be completely stain resistant. So He's not stainless, stained. stain resistant. So it's not supposed to be able to stain at all. That's just from cleaning my prints. So we're gonna do some, uh, a little bit of cutting in the kitchen. We got a bunch of stuff to cut for you guys today. So let's get to it. First up is the carrot. And I'm gonna do different chopping, drag cuts, all different kinds. So first up, we're gonna start with some thin cuts. And we'll get you guys different angles too. Bam will put a really good, and we haven't really used this edge since Bam was Bam a knife guy, put a very crispy edge on it. So it does have, you see these are very thin. Um, it does have a very good edge. I'm gonna do some pull cuts. Ooh, not too much for the pull. Well, I guess I'm not putting enough. Also a carrot, but. Yeah, I'm gonna do a 
Push Wait cups. a minute. I was supposed to do the carrot because I'm Kara. We discussed this. Do you want to do the carrot? Give me the knife. <gasps> You're Cut. blowing through it. Yeah. What was that? So. What was that? Go ahead. <laughs> so, you guys, we're trying to talk quiet because it echoes here in the kitchen. Um, so this thing this has a very, very good edge on it that uh, Bama Knife Guy put on it. I'm not sure when we're all said and done if I'm gonna have to put a new edge on there. Most likely, food, yeah, food, food, and stuff. Ooh, yeah. Food doesn't really do anything, any damage to the edge really. The cutting board okay. is what's gonna do. It's my time to talk. Look how thin this is. You're not even on it. Oops, sorry. Down, down. Sorry. There you go. How thin that is. Are you focusing in on it's stuff focused. as I'm moving? It's focused. It's focused. So, it is so thin. It sh wait, wait. Okay, so it shouldn't really hurt the edge too bad, so most likely I'm just gonna have to drop it. And I would never wanna sharpen an edge, perfect, that didn't really need it, because uh, then you just take away steel. Baby, why don't you tell me how it feels to cut that thing? Tell me how it's going through there. It feels really good, oops. It feels really good. Um, carrots are definitely an interesting thing to cut. Um, because they have that middle core running through them, so you kind of slide easy and then go boom. They want a chop cut. Or yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's definitely you know. easier to so just push, bah, push cut. Bah, That's what I meant to bah, say. Push bah, cut. Bah, do them bah. thin like that. Do them thin like that. Because carrots, you can do nice and thin with push cut, especially with a. There you go. Yeah. With a really sharp edge like that. Do it more towards the middle of the blade. Let's see some of that. Get all. Try to get all the way through so they can see it. There you go. Thing has a very it's, tough metal core. It sounds like it's loud on the chopping board, but like I said, guys, it's echoing in here. And this is uh, um, like a, like a, kind of like a hard plastic, so it's not gonna really hurt you the You know, blade. I'm very surprised that- It should um, be very easy on the blade. Sorry, what? Oh yeah, this is super easy on the blade. This I'm saying it's cutting board. I know. Um, I'm surprised a lot of them are able to stick like that. like with a push cut. When I do a little bit of a drag, look how they pop off. Right. When I do more of a push cut, they have the ability, even unless I use the dead center of the blade. But I want to try a kind of like a, a, like a roll yeah, cut. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because that really is. Start, you want to start from the tip and work your way down like a, like a shot back like this. Look. Like this? Look, no, no, watch me. Oh, I don't think I can do that with a carrot, baby. I'm it's trying. too round. Like that? No, it shouldn't be. Like, that looks weird. No, it doesn't look good. It's it looks good. weird. It cuts them pretty I good, doesn't do it? This. Cuts them really good. This angle right here, well, let me tell you, that feels very good because of the angle of the belly of this blade. Yeah. It feels good. It rocks back and forth like a right, seesaw. Right, right. That's what I was saying. I bet you it rocks really good. It does. That's the way so they you made... put the tip in the cutting board, or not in it, but on the cutting board, and then you zoop. Yeah. That works really good. Like, Wait, try try going back a little bit farther than the tip. Like just try starting there, see if that works. I'm just wondering if it works. Start the other one. It's fine. This one's a little thicker this now, guys, so this one's gonna one. be start right here, you're saying? Like start cutting yeah, here. However you can. Yeah, there that, you go. Oh yeah, that works great. Yeah, there you Absolutely go. great. Can yeah. you see this well? That's like the same way you'd work a yeah, perfectly. That's like the way you'd work a chef knife in anyway. Look how thin I can get when I do that too. Watch this. Because oh yeah, you can see, look at you see that. all the way through it's translucent. Look at that. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Yeah, um, very good. This very knife, nice. um, you're able the 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 geometry of the blade here. I'm sorry, the geometry of the blade here, this up sweep allows you to kind of plant your tip still. Yep. Even if you're at a very high angle, and then you can line it up basically as thin as you want. Oh, and I did it too thin. Basically as thin as you want, and then right through it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, this isn't a real chef knife. <laughs> no, I'm actually pretty saying. good with a chef knife. Look but how thin that one is, we know, let's see through. We know this is an EDC knife, guys, but you know, it's labeled as the chef, so we figured we'd try to see how it actually is with food prep. We're gonna do like one or two EDC items just to show you that it's compatible with both, but let's get to the celery knife. Let's try out some celery. This does get them very, very thin, but I'm going to do some drag cuts. As a chef style, I guess, or this display shape, 
four food prep it doesn't really like the drag cuts as much i mean it does take it though i guess Hold on, let me get a straight down there we go i'm gonna do some uh yeah i guess here i'll work this bit. you feel how that edge geometry works well in that way with the um with the up sweep in the belly like that yeah i do Obviously, celery is very easy to cut, guys. But it's We're also just... easy to shred with a dull knife, so it says a lot. Like, if you have a dull knife and try to cut celery, it starts to get stringy and you can't actually yes, cut through those strings. that's very, very true. It gives you just an idea of the geometry of the blade and what you can do with it guys. That's basically what we're trying to get out of this because obviously this thing can cut food and fruit, but it's mm. nice to know the geometry of the style blade and like what style cuts it prefers and even though this is a, I think a discontinued knife people still sell them constantly and you can still get them from places so but when they are up they definitely go quick uh, I, see, I'm liking this pinch grip like this and just going straight down that feels very good and then like Kara said Putting the tip down and just getting that rocking. Cut. It works. I, that's that and that's how I figured good. they were naming it a chef knife was because of that shape. We're gonna do the forward where I go like this now. This one doesn't feel as good, but I'm also I also working a chef knife for an EC knife. I'm not used to doing this cut, so that could be it. Maybe uh, somebody else would be better with it. But I got a little bit better. Yeah, I did. Why don't you try it on this one? And then... I just want to try something with it. I want to try like a... Um, see how this thing kind of... That was like a feel. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I'm very surprised. I didn't think this type of grind would do. But I guess having that flat grind gives you a nice flat surface to follow through your um, peeling with so you don't have your blade shape kind of rocking all, right. all over it. Yeah. That right. actually works. Try all that right, right, guys, I'm going to do one. Uh, I'm going to cut straight through it because this, everybody knows, is one of the hardest things to cut for an EDC knife. Ooh, that felt pretty good. Why is that the hardest thing to cut? Because <clears throat> when your blade goes through it, it's either going to rip or it's gonna cut through. I'm gonna also do a little bit of peeling. When you put a blade that's thick or that goes from thin to really thick, it makes it where it, the apple doesn't have any give without cracking. So what's gonna happen is it'll start cracking. That's when you start seeing the tears in an apple. If it's nice and clean and straight, like this piece is right here, show them that piece really quick. Like this piece, nice and flat and smooth, that's when you know it went through very well. So a lot of not pocket knives especially are not very good at going through. This peeling, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's obviously not a peeler, but it did pretty decent actually. I'm surprised how good it did. Okay, now let's get some cuts. guys you guys know that doing this to an apple is very easy so yeah. I am going to hurry up and get to the next thing we're gonna do just a push cut through this cheese Ooh, how's that feel kind of hard honestly well, I cheese mean is cheese gonna, is dense and it's not a cheese knife so it's gonna be a little more tougher than well it is that's why I said that pull cuts are gonna be a little bit harder than you think yeah what's no, this pull cuts or push cuts well I'm saying when you do a pull cut Oh, or yeah. Or drag no, cut, whatever you want to call it's, it. Um, but nonetheless, though, still nice and cuts cheese very nice, very thin. Although I don't like my cheese sliced thin personally, but let me try to. But you know, it's not. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, actually, pulling is easier than pushing, though. Really? Look how thin I just got that. Well, I'm, I'm asking you. Focus in on that. Cheese is going to. It's going to cut cheese. I'm, we're not worried about that. It's about how good it go, goes through it. Are you refocused? I'm refocused. Um, so. No, I know, but for cheese, I'm just saying that's actually not 
as hard as it looks, so maybe. You're, you're doing um, a drag time a push. I also want to readjust my stance here because yeah. I'm sitting very lazily. That's true. If I had the cheese the way I should, I'm also trying to do this left-handed in the view here, but look. Okay, that was a bad one, but... Okay, doing go. a full pull uh, cut? Yeah, a little harder, right? Okay, so now that's you guys... That's why I usually do a push look, cut. So let me show them. You see here, didn't cut evenly through. Corner got ripped, this little chunk You would came expect out. that for a pull cut with cheese, though. That's why you don't cut cheese like that. You do a push cut so, with cheese. So if you were going to use a Spidey Chef as an actual chef, I would say if you were cutting a block of cheese, my do assessment here cut would be to do a partial pull and then come down with a and push. Still rip it. That, but that ah. worked, or maybe just, just a full yeah, push. Yeah, exactly. But I, I was said. able to get it thinner this way, though. Maybe because I kind of scored it. Yeah. Score it first, then push. <gasps> Score first, then push. That's the or way Or just of the push cheese. through a thin piece. Try that. Score, push. Try that. Thin Try thin pushing piece. through it just a thin piece. There you go. It Perfect. just requires more strength, I guess, to do that. Yeah. Let me do one this way. All right. Because the other problem is, is this isn't long like a chef knife. So doing that wide. You want to clean the edge off one time. Doing that wide of a piece of cheese is like kind of hard to do. So All right, guys, this. we are going to be moving on to meat and watermelon next. Oh, that actually is easier from this angle. Angle. Because you have less, uh, you know what I mean? Like, the it's blade not as wide. is, yeah, exactly. It's, right. This isn't exactly. a huge butcher knife, so it's right. not very wide. That's great. All right, All right let's move on. Let me get a on. couple pieces really quick. I'm going to try it the sideways like she did first. I'm just going to do a push with both hands. I'm going to push this way and this way straight down. Mm, that was cut good. Very easily. We should have ate um, dinner before doing this. going to try a drag cut. Not easy at all. It did cut it, but it dragged it, it and mushed smushed it. it together. Okay, this way. Very easy this way. Yeah, that way. was easier, right? It's definitely easy. I did cut Vertical a thick push piece cut. too. So a push cut's probably not what I'm just going to do where I just oh, yeah, chop I forgot to do it that. right down. And it mushed it again. Though. Yeah, it mushed it. I'm going to try a little bit thicker piece with that one from here. Okay. So start with the point. Move it down. That actually worked pretty good. That actually worked, but it's thick though. Meat or watermelon next? What? Meat or watermelon? Let's do the... Um, or meat or melon. We'll do the meat then the watermelon because then we'll wash off the blade and eat some watermelon. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, this is already sliced, sliced ham, but we wanted to do some sort of meat with this. And um, the thing is, we didn't have a steak or something to do, so this is what we had. So, this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it in a couple pieces like this. So, let's get to it. So, first, Ooh. obviously, ham is going to be somewhat easy, actually, extremely easy. There's no easy. bone in this ham, obviously. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna cut bone with Bama's knife. But yeah, that actually went very easy. I'm gonna try it with a pinch cut straight down. You know what, I'm gonna try to chop it like this. Easily, as you can see, all these are cleanly cut. I can't see. So, cleanly cut. They're very smooth. Yes, they are. And you want to see my melons? She liked that way too much. Should we lift the camera a little bit? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Set. Pierce cut. Wait. I'm, I'm going to swing around decent. here. I'm going to pull it out. Okay. One more. This is obviously a small watermelon, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so delicious. I thought oh. you were saying that. Camera fell off. <laughs> I got it. We're good. Look at that. Oh yeah. This is my wow. favorite. Are you saying all oh, yeah about the knife or the watermelon? Definitely the watermelon. Ooh. <laughs> the knife is spectacular too though. And we are going to cut it like this now. 
I love that noise. That part? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's a very beautiful. And this is obviously not something you cut watermelon with, but you never know the what you're gonna is, need to though, cut it with. The point is, is that you can, if Ooh, need that be. that one's really nice. And this thing it is so sharp, it just, you see how it just glides right through like nothing. I didn't cut the core, but we'll do one more right here. You see how quick it just. Get some of these pieces out of the way so that we can like see a little better and then um, yep. do some smaller cuts. All right, yeah. I'll just go like this. Forget about it, forget about it. Ready? Yep. This is a great Ooh. knife to use for EDC and for multiple uses. Yeah? Harder. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to some other EDC stuff. I just wanted to show you guys, even though this thing has a small cutout on the other side, very easy to middle finger flick. It's very fun to flick, actually. Thumb flick is very, very easy too. The slow roll feels very good. This thing's very smooth. It's on phosphor bronze washers. This is hardware that's not stock to it. Damn, a knife guy got these and modded it a little bit. Even though this clip is very comfortable in hand and works very well in the pocket, you can see where it scratches it up just a little bit. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us get to more people and we'd like to get more people to watch EDC videos and knife videos. If you guys give us a thumbs up, it helps other people see us in their suggestions. So please do that for us. And hey, if you like uh, our videos, subscribe. We're gonna be doing a lot more videos where we introduce or not introduce, but involve all of our viewers and stuff like that. So it'd be really good to, to get to that. Also, about this knife, this knife is a titanium frame lock. There is no lock bar insert that is patented by Chris, Chris Reeves himself. He invented it. Just the build quality of this knife is amazing. I can see why so many people love this knife. It's built just very, very well. It's comfortable in the hand, very good EDC blade shape, and the materials makes it to where, you know, it's completely rust proof and makes to where it's a great EDC knife because of that, because you get good edge retention plus a rust proof knife all together. And you know, it's easy to sharpen. I haven't sharpened it yet, but I know from lots of other sharpeners that have talked about it. And yeah, so let's get to this EDC cutting. But right, we're not gonna do too much cutting um, that's not the food stuff because we, this isn't our knife, guys, and we don't wanna be too hard on the edge. So let's see it, baby. Little finger flip. going through it very smoothly this edge geometry is just great guys because it does get very thin behind the edge and it's a it's a pretty thin blade so no matter what this is going to be a good slicer it's just it's made for slicing so let me do a couple across grain you see even when it's going against the grain it's still very very slicey so let's see how the edge did all right That one. It's actually very good. I know you guys can't see it and I'm kind of messing up a little bit, but it feels actually very nice. Let me just do the whole edge. Yeah, there's nothing messing up there. This stuff's absorbing. It's so humid here, guys, where we're at. It's been storming so bad. So the second this paper gets outside, 
it's it's like it's wet it's not cutting as good as i know it can cut like see how slick it is on some tries but then some it's not it's totally the paper it's not the knife as you see how smooth that is there is a little part in the back of the blade though that does need to be sharpened out i'm not going to do it bama can do it when he gets it back I might strop this a little bit because it doesn't really need no edge maintenance, but there's a little tiny dimple right there. Not from us. It was the way it was when we got it. I'm sure Bama knows all about it and he can sharpen it out. But when you get stuff like that done to your edge, you don't have to, especially this far back, you don't have to sharpen it up and lose all that EDC steel that you're going to be using through time. You literally sharpen your knife and let it slowly get out. You know, because it's in a spot that you're not going to be using for the most part. So we love this knife. We've had lots of fun flicking it and just playing with it. Like I said, we haven't really done much with it. I was just going to say, um, to answer the question that we asked at the beginning here was if this uh, Spidey Chef lives up to its name. I would say that the um, blade shape definitely resembles that of certain chef knives. I would say that um, those certain foods are harder than others, that it definitely can be a good backup if you didn't have a fixed blade or an actual kitchen knife. So I would say that I understand why they named it that, and um, I don't know if it lives up to its name, but it definitely can get through those foods and be a really solid backup. It rides very good in the pocket too, because look how thin this is, guys. I don't know if you can actually tell, but it's super thin. The blade is very thin. It's a tall grind, thin behind the edge, so it's gonna be a good slice. And this is just an all around good performing knife and a very good EDC knife. Like I said, I absolutely love this knife. I think for the $200 mark, or a little over 200 bucks, well, well worth it. Bama's got a very good knife here. Thanks guys. Thank you.